Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we are here to see the three different ways we have in BSolid to work with the 2D DXF file. Let's start immediately with the manual import. So we are going to import uh, the DXF and uh, starting from scratch we are going to create the panel and apply all the machinings. So we go and use our import and in the meantime let me say that what we are going to see uh, today is part of the basic version so anyone has uh, these three possibilities to work with the 2D DXF file. So this is our DXF, double click on it to import it and here it is. First of all, we need to create the panel. How do we do that? We select everything, right click, piece from finish geometry. And now we got the panel with all the geometries in it. Basically we have all we need. So we can start applying all the machining. We can select all the five millimeter circles we go in machining operations select boring at this point i have a couple of choices here so i can decide to go and specify a diameter for all those holes i can select a tool directly from the tool library or the third option is automatic so it's gonna actually take the diameter directly from the geometry so from uh, the circles at this point if i go with automatic i can just specify the depth and confirm we got all the five millimeters holes in once then we can do the same thing for the eight millimeter circles so i'm using basically the selection area we have seen in a previous video how to use uh, eventually uh, the selection function and again once everything is selected machining operation boring i would say automatic and depth we got all the eight millimeter as well here for the back panel i can use a quarter inch milling bit or i can use uh, a saw blade if the machine is equipped with so it's really up to me it's always the same uh, uh, sequence so selecting the geometry first then you go in machining operation you select which one you want to use and you keep going with all the information so in this case i'm going to use a quarter inch down spiral the depth i can go i don't know 10 or whatever it is central correction if i want to specify any lead in lead out here we have different options in this case i don't think i want to use any or maybe just an initial extension just to start with my router bit outside the panel and confirm last thing we need is the sizing so we can select the polyline that goes all around milling we select the tool
we select the depth I can go 0 0.1 and then enable the true cut and if I do want to start right in the corner I can actually change the starting point using this function so lead in point selection and at this point I'm able to click anywhere along the geometry that was selected to give the new starting point calculate so we see now our tool have changed the position I uh, forgot to specify the correction so I'm gonna keep the external and I mean right now I'm using a flat table machine so probably I want to use the 3D line or a 3D arc in case I need to nest this part otherwise I mean if it's a powder rail you can select a, a regular arc or a regular line in this case 3D arc 45 degree calculate ok done so in few clicks actually we have prepared a program ready to go starting from scratch this is the first way so the manual now let's see the second option we're gonna create a new panel we're gonna use the same uh, DXF drawing and at this point uh, I can go in machining operations and as you can see if I don't have any panel created in my program because right now are just geometries as you can see the only options I have is to use our automatic machining operation clicking on this machining the software is able to create automatically a panel and apply all the machining in once that is just because I have a set of rules that I, of course it was previously created where uh, I specified for each type of geometry what the software uh, was supposed to do in case of a circle that was uh, smaller uh, than 15 millimeters for instance I applied a, a drilling with a certain depth for a polyline I applied an half inch compression bit with the external correction and so on so it's just a set of rules completely customizable that you can create and use for your drawings we will see in a future video how eventually to uh, create the, your set of rules or how to customize the existing one maybe the default that you should have already but right now I only wanted to show eventually what uh, you can do once everything is set up correctly so the second option was pretty quick we can go to the next we can see the third option which is the uh, technological import so before importing the drawing with the technological import I want to show you what is uh, a technological DXF because uh, of course if we are talking about technological import we must have a technological DXF which is uh, just a DXF that uses the layer name to give all the technological information to the software what that means so let's go see layers here as you can see the red layer and it doesn't really matter the color 
the colors are just you know so you can have a visual thing but the really important thing are the name of the layer so tch is our key that let the software understand we are using a technological dxf then w is the face selection so w0 is because i'm using the face zero of my panel in this case and then we have b b is basically the type of machine we want to apply eight is uh, used to define the panel and of course uh, to define the panel what do we need the depth so the thickness so d stands for depth in this case so the thickness of the material which is uh, 19.1 millimeter in this case then what do we have the yellow layer uh, so same thing tch is uh, technological dxf then w0 is phase zero b1 type of machining so one is actually milling tcd is the tool code which is uh, an half inch compression bit in this case and the name of the tool has to go between the two dollar signs then we have the tool correction we have the depth we have uh, the lead in lead out and so on so same thing here another uh, milling operation with a quarter inch down what else uh, we have uh, B2 which is a boring so a drilling with a five millimeter bit with this depth so everything is already specified just using the layer name now going back what we can do with the technological DXF For, first of all if I go back and I import the same file using the technological dxf import it will not be imported only as a regular geometry but it will come up already as a program ready to go of course we can immediately start to see the simulation if you want if we need to change something we can still open any machining that is in there and change maybe the coordinates change the tool or change the depth we can change pretty much anything we want for every single machining or geometries eventually otherwise i mean it's ready to go and uh, a file like this one can also be used directly into the work list without even open and importing the file in bsolid so if we go here work list we create a new work list i mean or use the existing but in this case i'm gonna create a new one we can add the same file directly into the work list dxf it will be recognized already as a program so if we want to see the preview remember there is uh, the pencil here that enables the preview directly from the work list and i'm also able to calculate the execution time for it directly from the work list again so and remember that in B solid we have two different types of simulation so this is the first one which as you can see starts from uh, you know the milling operations and then it does the drilling but uh, usually we do we want to do the opposite but keep in mind that this simulation doesn't show you the real sequence that will be actually performed by the machine this is just a quick simulation to show you what has been programmed so far so just you know to give you an idea of what the result will look like 
the real simulation with also the collision control is this one piece of machine that first of all will show you where the part will be located on the machine well, now we are loading the program as you can see you will get the execution time and we can play and this is exactly what the machine will do we can turn off the cover if we want to see better what the machine is doing Okay, we are finally at the end of the video. I hope this was helpful. Remember to subscribe just so you don't miss any new video. And see you at the next time.